And let's take a trip down memory lane over the next 55 minutes, taking on every Easter egg in Zombies Chronicles. That means Ascension, Shangri-La, Moon, and Origins. Now, this video took a while to make because I'd done these all on solo. So if you want to spare one second to leave a like if you enjoyed the video at any point, that would be really nice. And if this video gets enough love, then I might make a follow-up beating every Zombies Easter egg over the last 12 years in one video. If you'd like to see that, then just let me know and subscribe to not miss out. Let's start with Origins. Here we go, ladies and gentlemen. This is the Mammoth Behemoth Easter Egg Origins. We'll be completing the Origins Easter Egg here. And uh, I gotta let you guys into a little bit of a secret. I have never ever beaten this Easter Egg on solo. So what you'll be witnessing today is my first ever completion of it solo. And I'm really looking forward to it. Now we're already gonna start doing lightning switches. And uh, I, I, I don't even know half of them. I know some of you will be ashamed to be like, John, how do you not know every single switch on Origins? Like, this is blasphemy. You're a Zombies YouTuber. And I know, I do apologize. But I'm really excited. This is probably one of the most complex Zombies maps that most of you guys probably know very, very well. Okay, there's the Perkaholic. Not quite. I didn't want to get it right this moment, but it's fine. But I already know we need to be getting the shield which I don't even remember half the spots for. It could be in the other side of the spawn. We need to be getting the staff pieces. We also need to be getting this first robot. That could... Is it going to be... Oh, no, it's the other foot. Don't don't tell me. Oh, no, we got the right foot. Let's go, boys. Like, there's so much RNG needed for this Easter egg. Like, we could be waiting hours to get the right robots in the later steps. But here we go. Win staff part one. Grab that staff part. It's also going to be a disc and we also need to get that I, I commend anyone that knows origin so well that they can do the whole easter egg without looking up anything that's when you know you're an absolute hardcore mad lad when you've mastered that but also look at this map especially in chronicles but just the map in general and just be like the creativity level that Triok were on when they created this was just something else. Let's go over and do this gen now. Now, lads, we got to ask, early on in this Origins playthrough, is this the best map in Zombies history? Let me know. And this map is nearly nine years old this year. Like, what the hell? Even be older by the time you're watching this video, which is frightening. In the meantime, let's get this generator going. There's just so many things. Like, there's a constant checklist. There's also the plane flying around, so let's shoot that down and grab that part for the fire staff. All right, there's another fire staff piece. We also need to start getting Max's drone parts as well. And I think the last part's going to be in the mound. We're doing pretty good, to be fair. Now we've got that. We've got Pack-A-Punch open, and I'm really hoping we can get a shopping free because I want to pack my Mauser. Once you got a Mauser, everything's good in the world. And look, there we go. I might as well pack both weapons for now. Okay, boom, Hilda. Gonna come in very useful. There we go. Got that foot open. Now, lads, let me know in the comments. Can I shoot open a foot with the Boom Hilda? Let me know the answer because I know what it is. I just want to make sure you guys know. If your answer was no, then you're correct. It doesn't work. At least I can't remember. Is it BO2 or BO3 where it doesn't work? It might be both. It might be one or the other. I really don't know. Okay, but in the meantime, let's ride the tank. And why have we got a visitor? We didn't. We weren't invited, Mr. Mr. Zombie. There we go. Oh, and we got middle robot. Oh boy, we need that. Right foot, right foot. Come on, come on, come on. Oh yeah, we got it. Right, there's the one. Let's go, let's go, let's go. And run, 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 run. And boom. And there we go. Now we can do lightning as well, as soon as I get the disc. All right, there's part number two. Part number three, there we go. So now all we need is a panzer. And we will have all the parts for every stuff. So let's actually start building them. Okay, so let's start with wind. Okay, let's grab that and let's go back. All right, and craft in the wind stuff. Easy as that. Okay, so I've got my good old trusty image to help me out here. Okay, and we've got zombie blood as well. So this should be absolutely easy as pie. Okay, there we go. Simple. All right, so now I'm just going to go around the map and shoot a load of smoking balls i think they'll i uh, it's yeah kind of weird but we've got to redirect the smoke back towards the mound so here at gen 4 we got one of them so just we'll shoot that there we go second one's on this tank path right near the church the last one's tucked here there's stamina up there we go and look at the just the sheer effects of that orb going through there with my second shot of ammo left there we go. Okay, and that's the star of wind ready to upgrade. But we won't upgrade it yet. We're going to start doing the other ones now. But I'm feeling in the mood for ice. So let's go and do the ice next. All right, grab the part. Now we've got to build it. And then we can go upgrade it. And this is probably my favorite upgrade because it's just pretty simple. Staff of ice acquired. Now let's go upgrade it. And who remembers when pre-release Chronicles gameplay came out and this was called the Staff of Water? And everyone was like, wait, what? Why have they changed the name? 
Turns out the code name for this staff is actually Staff of Water, but it's not called that, and we know that for a fact now. All right, so we've got that, which is... And boom, there we go. Now, what is wild is like there are so many picture guides on the internet for each of these puzzles, and some of them are wrong. Like this map is nine years old and there's still like guides that are wrong, which is wild. Okay, so now we've got to go and destroy three gravestones, freeze them with ice. So we've got one there, one there. And the last one is behind the tank station. But if you aim in a certain place, you can actually get it all the way across the map. Oh, I'm not clever enough to learn where that is to actually do that. Sadly, we won't be doing that today in this playthrough. But I completely forgot you have to actually destroy them with bullets. I've ran all the way from the tank station when I didn't need to, but I'm going to see if I can at least shoot this from across the map. I don't even know if I can see it. Is it there? There we go. Yo, we got it. Not quite as cool as you probably wanted me to have done it, but I'm still pretty happy with that. All right, those done. Shoot that. Pop this bad boy in, and then that's another one ready for upgrading. All right, now we're on to building and upgrading the lightning. And I've always had trouble with this puzzle, so please, please be kind to me, game, that we can do this right on the first attempt. Okay, so it begins. One, three six okay that's the first one then it's three five seven then two four six and that should be it hey let's go we got it i don't know why i've had so much trouble in the past with that it's just weird ah so i thought i had all of these done but I missed this one. Alrighty, there we go. So I just, for some reason, my stamina up one didn't have it right for some reason. All right, orb shot. Now we can go and upgrade this one now. All right, boom, the staff for lightning. So now we just need to get that panzer, get the fire staff built, do that, and then we can have every single thing upgraded on round eight, which is like perfect, really. And here what Mr. Panzer is. is. All right, let's see how quick. Oh my god, the boom healer is so good, man. All right, fire gem. Let's build this bad boy. Okay, so to upgrade this, we need to stand here and get kills to fill these up. I'll tell you, anytime I play this map, I never ever get the fire staff. And I know it's probably one of the best staffs to get, but I've just never liked building it. I always feel like the most long-winded staff to get, in my opinion. Hey, and whilst we're doing this step, we're also upgrading it. We're also getting the kills required for the other staff. So this is pretty cool. Okay, so there we go. That step's done. And... We uh, have upgraded two of the staffs in the process of that, which is pretty sweet. And this is the one thing I don't like about this map. The generator is being attacked. Like, why? So annoying. Luckily, we aren't too far away from that one. So very, very easy to recover. I'm not joking when I say it. I have not done this fire staff upgrade puzzle here in years since I've done the tutorial for Black Ops 2, which is wild. Okay, so if we come up to the church, we can see that there are a load of symbols illuminated that each correspond to different torches. So... I've got a little bit drop here. So that's 11. Torch 11. Torch 9. 6. And 4. You need to shoot them from left to right. You need to shoot them really, really quickly. So there's 11. There's 9. 6. And then this last one, the blood's 4. Hey, we done it. Why was I ever worried and, and, and sort of scared of doing that puzzle in the past? I thought it was really difficult. Hey, shoot that. I can do the upgrade. Gonna get some kills. And we've got two other staffs to do anyway so this has taken an hour and 20 real time to get to this part which is fine but it's crazy that this is only the first step is just getting the staffs and then after that we're gonna need to pray that the uh, rng gods are nice to us and we can put the uh staffs in the robots and we get those robots and then in the order that we need them okay ladies and gentlemen finally we have every staff upgraded so now i need to go and place them in the robots and Hope for the best but we're going to start off with the fire one because that always has its same spot which is in the mound boom there it goes and hello what what's the lining stuff down here i mean i'll take it i'm not joking here when i say i've been going about 25 minutes waiting for a robot to go right that I can put the lightning staff in and nothing happens. So I'm like, all right, I'm going to swap it out. And lo and behold, it ends up, ends up being the robot that I needed. And I'm like, wait, hang on a minute. Dude, can I even open this foot? I'm sure I can open it with a shotgun if it's up close. Let's find out. Hey, let's go. Oh, I got very, very scared. Then. Okay, there's ice in. Now that robot's gone over, we also need to fill up these at some point in the game. So 
before I even go and get another staff, I might as well start trying to fill this up. Actually wild how much... Look, there it is. I said it and it happened. It's wild how much more difficult this Easter egg is on solo. When it, like, you could just have four players each with a staff each. Easy. Hey, look at that. We got it done. Hey, there goes wind. Let's leave. Hallelujah, ladies and gentlemen. I see the light. We have got the final robot that we need. We just got to make sure we don't miss this foot. Please, please, please. Yo, yo, we just made that in the skin of our teeth. Oh my God. Okay, there we go. Let's go. I was so, so shocked that we were, it looked like we weren't going to make that at all. Jesus. Only the Black Ops 2 Firestaff glitch was still a thing in this game. Ah, oh, man, that would have saved me 30 minutes. 30 minutes that took. Next up, we've got to get into the middle robot and then we need to throw a G-Strike down. And uh, if it's not going to be middle robot foot, then we are not going to be able to do this. So it's not that foot. It's not that foot, so we can't do it. We cannot do it. All right. Let's do this. Let's do this. Alrighty. So there's two ways to do this. You can either wait till the countdown is about to finish and then you'll get ejected out, which I think we'll do. We'll wait. I think we're here about six. You can do this in time. Eight, seven, six. Okay. Maybe I've done it a little bit early there. As I think you, you press it and you get immediately ejected out. Then we've got to just sprint, sprint, sprint. Come on, come on, come on. Sprint, 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 sprint. And get this ready. And chuck it. Let's hope for the best. Absolutely bang on there. I pray that this works. Lovely zombie blood as well, so we can watch it. Okay, yeah, we got it. All right, sweet. So now let's send Maxis in there. And now we're going to have a load of panzers. Oh my God, there they You see how many there are? <laughs> oh God, with the zombie blood as well. But we've got the perfect stuff for it. Come at me, Panzers. Oh my lord, there is like six of them right there. Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, there's still more landing in. How rude of you guys. Nice if you do make your make your acquaintance. Uh-oh. Okay, well, now that step's done. We've now got to find the spirit in the sky. Now, for that, we need a zombie blood. And uh, we can actually get one once around by using the ice staff. So let's do that. Now, this I've also had trouble with in the past. Like, I don't know why I have trouble with it. Okay, so for these chariots for the zombie blood, we've got one there. Why is there a panzer coming in now? One there. I'm on there and it spawned one in, but we've got this stupid panzer. Leave me alone, bro. Okay, so here's the zombie blood. So in the sky should be the plane. There it is. There it is. Let's get him. Oh, you're kidding me. I can't get it with a mauser. You're kidding me. Okay, let's try this again, shall we? Okay. Zombie blood acquired. There he is. Flying. Did I shoot him down? <laughs> the robot's foot got in my way there, but I feel like I got him. And there's a zombie that's going to be running around. And there we go. There was the pilot. And there's the Maxis drone. Woo! That, that step completes. And we are on to the second to last step now, I, I think. Okay, so let's go redeem this reward. There we go. Second to last step is called uh, Wield a Fist of Iron. So we've got our upgraded punch now. And now we just got to get 20 kills or so down here. I never understood why this made sense in the Easter egg. Because with most Easter egg steps in zombies... Like you, you know, you do something and say like for getting this, there's a reason for getting it, you know? What I mean is like, normally you get like an upgraded weapon or something and there's a purpose for why you get it. But with this, there is no particular reason why. It's not like you need this upgraded punch for anything. You just require it for the Easter egg. I think the idea is I'm going to charge up my star and then whilst it's killing, I'm now going to try and get some punches in. So I have a little bit of defense against the zombies. Oh, hello. Insta-kill. we just keep going until one of these zombies drops like a tablet. And then that's it. We are Gucci. Come on. There it is. Hey, let's go. Okay, we're on to the last bit of this Easter egg now. And even this bit is a little long-winded. We need to take each staff. I need to put them back in the crazy place on their pedestals. All right, let's get the show on the road, ladies and gentlemen. We got all the staffs in. I went ahead and got an STG44 upgraded because I was like, well, if I'm going to not have a staff, I might as well have a third weapon. Wait a minute, does turned kills not go towards the requirements? I don't know, but we need to get 100 kills, ladies and gentlemen. 100 kills. I'm sure you all know that. You all know pretty much everything we've done in this Easter egg thus far. A really funny memory I have from doing this Easter egg is actually the very first time I ever done it back when it came out on Black Ops 2. 
it. So you'll see when we get near to the end of this step where we can, you know, activate the ending with Maxis and throw him up, that your screen flashes white once this step's complete for a brief few seconds. Now, when that happened, when I originally done this Easter egg back when the map came out, I actually got completely overwhelmed by zombies and I died. A whole team of four died right at that very moment, which is the ending of the Easter egg. Imagine getting that far on your very first ever attempt and then dying at the very last bit. If you go back and watch my original Easter egg guide for this map on Black Ops 2, you will see that in the guide. What's also dumb as well is you can't complete this, e this egg if the generators are being attacked above you. So that's great. Oh, hello. Hey, there we go. We're done. This is what I mean by the white flash on your screen. You think you're done but you really aren't. I think Electric Cherry was, uh, yeah, Electric Cherry is what got me caught in the corner because the zombies were frozen for a bit. And then, uh, yeah, I got killed. But let's do the honors. Maxis, let's fly you up. Here we go. Right at the end of the round as well. You can't beat that, can you? And then let's access the teleport. Here we go. There we go. Origins Easter egg complete. And my first ever time doing that egg on solo. It took uh, two and a half hours exactly for me to do that from start to finish. Definitely not the greatest time that I could have gotten. I'm sure a lot of you have done better, but I'm pretty proud of myself for doing that for the first time. You're probably wondering, why have you never done that on solo? And it's just I've never needed to. I've never felt like I had to do it, but I'm pretty happy with that. And here we have the very first cutscene in all of Zombies history. And what's crazy is the ramifications from this cutscene are still being explained today in Cold War. Eddie says he doesn't ha he never got his turn. And look what happens at the end of Black Ops Cold War. It turns out that he is finally getting his turn after all. Well, there we have it, guys. That is Origins complete. Well, let's jump over to the next Easter egg. Ladies and gentlemen, here we are on Moon, one of my absolute all-time favorite Black Ops Zombies maps. And it's probably one of the best in Zombies Chronicles. And today... Oh my god, we're doing the Easter egg, and I, I just adore this map. I love everything about it. It is just, it's still one of the best maps ever made in Zombies history. Let me know if you agree with that statement in the comments below. And, uh, well, we didn't get ourselves shopping free, but the first thing we want to do, just like with most Zombies maps, is we want to get the power on. But whilst we're here in No Man's Land, I mean, I could try my luck at trying to gather up some points see what see what we can do here especially when you spawn on the rk5 it definitely made no man's land a lot easier but again if i get a shopping free do i really need to survive it i don't know so let's just go to the moon and i i yeah this map is just absolutely fantastic still so so good and obviously when you play solo you're ricked off in you need to be ricked off in for the easter egg so uh let's get this rocking and rolling okay so we've got an immolation liquidation not quite the uh shopping free we want but I do probably want to do this sooner rather than later. Oh my god, hello. <laughs> Let's just get rid of this guy real quick. There, there is so much RNG with this Easter egg. It's actually a little bit of a joke. How much you need in terms of uh, wonder weapons and stuff. Like, we, we need to get Gersh's and QEDs and then Gersh's again and the wave gun. There's just so much, man. So we really need some luck here. Okay, so I still have not got that shopping free, but I do have Perkaholic. I'm gonna kill a cat. Oh, God, this map is just so beautiful. It is incredible. All right, let's get this power turned on. There we go. And now we can actually start the first step of the Easter egg. So I don't even need to worry right this moment about getting specific weapons or anything else. The one thing that just annoys me about this Easter egg is just so just how, how much RNG there is. And what are the odds of the RNG of giving us Jason Blundell as the astronaut? Are you kidding me? See you later, mate. Okay, so here we go with step number one, Samantha says. So we've got a color code that we've got to remember. So it's red green, blue, yellow. So we've got blue there. And there we go. That one done. Pretty simple stuff. So the next step, we need to open up into here, which I honestly thought was going to be uh, a lot more expensive than it is. And we've got to find the hacker. Where, oh, where is the hacker? Oh man. Okay. So I need to buy this door for a thousand. God damn it. Who remembers back in the day though, with the Bowie knife, you'd have to smash the windows in here and then use the anti-gravity to jump up and get the Bowie knife. All right. This has got to be. Yep. There we go. Green shopping free. Let's go. All right. Just because I'm feeling cheeky, we'll hit the box once and we get a wonder weapon for our shopping free. No. Okay. Whilst we've still got the shopping free, I might as well quickly pack a punch like a haymaker or something like why not since we need this open i might as well just open up through here anyway because we'll need it for the egg later on okay so here we go we've got the hacker 
So let me get rid of these Nova crawlers and we'll get straight to work. So we need to hack one of these panels and then around this section, there's going to be five flashing green terminals that we need to hack. And then we need to hack all those other buttons that we just done pretty quick. So here we go. Doing this vid round might be a little bit of a stress, but I reckon we should be fine as long as the zombies aren't too quick. Fourth one here. Oh no, oh no, it's decompressed. Are you kidding me? And there's still one more to do. I'm trying to do this step. I think we've got it now. So one, two, three, four, and there we go. We are done. Such a strange step. Never really made sense why you needed to do that. But anyway, we ourselves a PES again before anything terrible happens. And let's see now if we can try and get a Wonder Weapon and Gersh's or Qued. Because until that point, the only thing we can do now is simply play on until Tunnel 6 gets excavated. That is literally the next step. And that could take... It could take two rounds. It could take 20 rounds. There is no telling how long it's going to take. This is personally like one of the only things I dislike about this map. And I feel like they definitely amped up the difficulty or the, just the RNG on getting these specific weapons out of the box. I've had arguments with friends for years now about how it's specifically more difficult in Black Ops 3 to get this stuff out of the box than it was in BO1. Let me know if I'm tripping or if I actually have some sort of... I don't know, some sort of backing here by you guys in the comments because I do feel like there is just something weird with this map and it's uh, and the RNG in the box. But you see how many times the wave gun keeps popping up, but it's just not actually there. We're not getting it. Like all this will be is just a constant rotation of raindrops and immolation. Oh my God, what the hell? The Mark II? Oh, we got Tunnel 6 though. Oh my god, we got the Mark II and Tunnel 6. So far, I mean, I'm very happy with the Mark II. Like, I am keeping that. We are not getting rid of that ever. Oh my god, let's go. Okay, we got the Zap Guns and the Ray Gun Mark II. Like, that's a pretty good combination to have. Let's go pack a punch both of these asap Aruni. All right, we're here, and as you can see, it is getting destroyed right now, so... Let's hack this, sort that out, and then we can begin the next step, which is such a funny, weird step. We've got to follow an egg around. We've got to shoot it. We've got to fly it around. Let's see. Is the egg there? It should be. There it is. So let's shoot it. And look at it, just bouncing around. Now, big, big props to anyone in the comment section that can tell me from the lore of zombies exactly what this thing is. I'm sure some of you will know the answer. And then look at that. Up it goes onto the satellite and... Oh, after following this bouncing ball for so long, it bounces just perfectly into the MPD. Now, I believe, do we pull this lever? No. Oh, no. The souls, the canisters just appears there. And we can start collecting souls. And we need to get 25 kills. Whilst we're doing that, let's go get some Gersh devices. Common box. Please, please, please bless us. Please. I just want to keep the box rolling so we can get these Gershes. And if we get Queds before... Oh, why? We need Gersh's and then Queds, not Queds and Gersh's. That sort of RNG you just can't make up. You really can't. Oh, God. Oh, my God. Jesus, Lord above. I was just minding my own business looking at how many kills I've had and how much score I've had. And oh, my God, we nearly got abducted. Like I said, this is the only bad part about this map. It's just needing the RNG. If it's not on your side to get all this stuff, the fact that we need to then lose it and get it back again is ridiculous. But the step is done. And uh, the soul. Okay, no, we need... Uh, do we need to pull this now? Yeah, there we go. Pull that. The souls. It slurped in. And it opens it. Oh, boy. There is Samantha. Any moment. There we go. Damn. Damn. Look at that. To think of how far we've progressed in the storyline and seeing this it's kind of crazy isn't it yeah the next step is to literally just get gersh's and then we need queds after that I'm fully expecting this box to move any moment we are not getting gersh <gasps> okay we are let's go baby all right the next step is we got to go back to no man's land and we got to throw a nade out of the map at some panels and then gershon so they should be there any moment i believe Maybe we've got to wait for this to come back up first. Maybe I just got to throw a nade. I, I, I don't think it matters. Oh God, oh God, oh God. Let's not die. Okay, I think I see the plates. I think those are the plates. Okay, maybe I haven't got this down properly. Okay, no, there we go. Those are the plates going in. All right, there we go. They are on the 
teleporter pad. And you know what the next step is? Plates are now there. And we need to get queds. That is it. That's all we needed the Gersh for. That was it. Then we need queds. And then we need queds again. And then we need Gersh again. Oh my god, let's go. Only the second time spinning that box. Using the hacker to get it. Alright, so now we use the queds on those panels. You just chuck them like that. They disappear and... We are good to go. So the next step is I need to find like a little golden pipe to put it in a computer in the spawn room. And I really should have picked this up a long time ago. But you see in the heart, I've got the golden rod. I'm missing this pipe. There it is. Just chilling in the corner. Look at it. There we go. Okay, so now we connect them up. Put the golden rod in. And then this is the coolest part is you just got to keep pressing X as Ricked off to log into this computer. Now doing this in solo... Especially when you're going to be here for a while is, uh, yeah, it's not the easiest step in the world. I'm going to run out of ammo here. Jeez, Louise, come on. This step takes forever. Okay, well, now I got a raindrop, so that is absolute bless. I, can just... I am secure once again. Oh, my God. The fact is like, goodbye, Dr. Maxis. And there we go. We've got the charged golden rod. And now we've got to go back to the pyramid, and it's the classic classic soul collection i think this is like the first time in a triarch easter egg they introduced souls now we've seen it thousands and thousands of times in all those custom zombies maps and just everything in zombies so now look at that boom we just come here and it senses that i can't actually remember the last time i've done this easter egg on solo and it's not difficult but there is like you know a lot of rng needs to be quite lucky a lot of the time with you know what weapons you get especially when it comes to filling up these you got a, these containers are 25 zombies each there's a hundred souls needed all right halfway there already the chills when samantha starts talking man is it's just so different to you know how we're used to her sounding and talking now uh oh Ooh, there we go let's go those final souls taking it out on me for real there we go on soul look at that look at that you see that normal colored eyed zombies and then we got the richtofen controlled one now we are technically now some app for in richtofen's body oh the chills here in maxis man okay so i think we're getting very close now to the final steps of this easter egg which is just simon says i think that's it okay here we go ladies and gentlemen so it's red green blue yellow let's see what's the first one gonna be yellow green yellow okay that's two Every time we do one of these, the rockets start slowly moving up. All right, last sequence. Here we go. Here we go. Hey, let's go. Finally. Man, doing this on solo with all the zombies is just so difficult. But as you hear, Maxis, they are ready to go. Okay, so second to last step here. We've got to retrieve the artifact from the pyramid using queds. And then we need Gersh's. I hate the RNG on this Easter egg so much. But we're on the final, final bits now. Okay, qued out. There we go. One of the best parts about this Easter egg is when you get the ripped off in fire cell music. It's just so good, man. Oh, let's go. Oh my gosh. That wasn't as terrible of an RNG fest as I originally expected it to be. So here is the device. All we need to do is chuck the gush right down at it. Boom. There we go. It's going to launch those rockets. And we're going to have one of the best Easter egg endings in all of zombies right here. Oh my god. It's still so loud. It's so epic. But there the rockets go. Oh man, it's just so, so cool. I can't believe this is a thing inside of zombies. We we actually can do this. And it completely destroys the earth and it causes transit to happen. So whether that's a good thing or not, I'll let you be the judge of that. <laughs> One of the best moments is directly after this happens where Dempsey says all of that and all we did was blow up the earth. Oh, here we go. There we go. Max's laugh still, it just sounds so terrifying. All this time later. There we go. We're looking at transit right there and then. And to wrap up this video, we just got to look at what No Man's Land looks like afterwards. And Jesus, this is so beautiful. Treyarch really, really snapped when they made this. Maybe we should have been here as it hit. I don't know still if 
that works if we can do that in this game or if it slightly glitches it out. Who remembers back on like Black Ops 1? I think it's still a thing on here. I think if you do it whilst it's happening, you've got the earth in the sky still. And it's like, wait a minute, but we are on earth, right? There we go, ladies and gentlemen. Moon Easter egg, one of the greatest Call of Duty Zombies Easter eggs of all time. Let's move on to the next one. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Shan Grilla. What is arguably... You one of the most the i don't want. know if dislikes the right word but it's a map that not a lot of people gel with it's a very interesting map but it's easily one of the most beautiful maps track i've ever created but yes we are doing the easter egg here today and uh i have not done this easter egg in a hot minute it's been years i think since i last done this easter egg and hey shopping through the starters off that's what we like to see now this easter egg cannot hey, normally be done on solo spike, so man. i'm rocking a I solo mod today yeah. which might make some of the steps a little bit easier than what they were in the uh original cult version we'll have to see oh my god what this map has in its difficulty uh it makes up for in its beauty it's just incredible also two power switches very unique but back in the day these black ops one maps hang on a minute i'm looking for something here i need to find these spike moors do they have spike moors in this or no they've just got normal trip mines well i almost managed to open the entire map up it's just this last one so let's get back in the spawn and then we can actually i think we can do the first step straight away all you need is the power on and uh there's these four buttons which in co-op each one each player needs to press but here i believe this is just one player let's just see press it once hey there we go we're now in eclipse mode where we've gone back in time okay so what normally happens with this step is uh if i remember correctly whereabouts this is we first need to go here and press this button as we can hear radio of the uh explorers brock and gary who are stuck of that really could use some help here so with this step so normally there are 12 tiles here and 12 tiles uh, by the mud temple and you need to match them up but i believe for the solo mod do we just Whoa, step on them I'm yeah glowing. we just step on them we don't even have to match them which is pretty which is pretty awesome makes this step a whole lot easier you normally have to stand on one of these and you've got to find awesome. another stone the opposite side of the map that matches the same but there we go we have already done that step. That was so quick. Whilst we hear that radio finish, oh my god, just the sky. I never noticed playing like the, uh, you know, meteors that are flying across the sky. All right, well, now we can begin with the second step. So let's press the button. Let's head back into eclipse mode. It's beautiful that we have this. Imagine if, like, in the future, we have an Easter egg by Treyarch where you can insta switch into Dark Aether like we had in D Machine. I think that'd be awesome. But there's a slide here, a water slide, and we need to slide down it if i can actually get on it hello what's going on jerry up and then there's a button that we need to activate a switch or something and there we go as you can hear all the voices of our other characters that were sliding down all right and there we go so that's all we had to do we just had to press the button and then stand on this pressure platform for a while until it was done and there we go that's it so the next step is we need to get the wonder weapon of the map the jgb 215 the baby gun an absolutely iconic weapon i'm actually amazed how quick you can do this when you have a solo mod and gobble gums like usually this would take a little while even just to get to this part and of course coordination with your teammates let's end the round so we can uh see what gobble gun we can get next if we can get an immolation or something that will be literally legendary okay, oh no oh wait what is this a percaholic i mean i will take it a percaholic is still pretty darn good all right come on this is purple is it the one we want oh yeah it is let's go baby two hours later oh my god i got the mark ii before the wonder weapon hey finally we got it all right about time and now i instantly go down are you kidding me no don't tell me did i just lose it you see okay we haven't lost it we lost the uh ray gun though okay now i've still not recovered from that stupid down but we've got all our perks that we would probably need for this moment in time at least we can now go on to the next step where there is a big crystal like yeah literally it just, just crashed in there oh so this first step you need to actually get this meteor down by like grenading there we go that's classic Treyarch easter eggs right there for you then you need to shrink it and then knife it and it's gonna go down this slide so i feel like back in the day these sort of easter accepts were quite logical you know they made sense and there it goes and boom and it's flown up in the air sure and there we go and there we go that's that step done pretty simple right now this next step is gonna be hella annoying hella annoying 
We need a napalm zombie. And I remember this being a very annoying step. But, uh, yep, this is, this is what we got to do. Now, when exactly we'll get a napalm, no one knows. It's complete random. I don't know how long we've got in here. I might have actually timed this really bad. You should do it when you're ready to do it because you might get kicked out of eclipse mode before this finishes. I really hope not. In this cave here, there is a valve that we need to turn four times. That's two, three, four. Okay, now that's opened like gas, which you can see there. And we need to lead the napalm through here and then through two other areas. So very confident that the napalm has just lit that on fire. Yeah, he's getting close. Okay, so now we need to go this from behind me. And the last zombie is actually stuck behind him, which is probably the best case scenario, really. Let's hope he doesn't overtake him. But that one's going on there. So we need to get him. Oh, no, the zombie caught up. No, Mr. Napalm is doing his thing and we just need him to come out of the power room and then we know that's complete. We need to go back into the cave. Okay, that's done. That's done. There we go. The walls are literally closing in on them. So you've got to be quick, but there's this lever. So let's pull it. Hello. Oh no, did we miss one? Oh no, I missed one. There's one by the mystery box and he obviously didn't go past there. No! Two hours later. Okay, it is now round 25 and... Every time it's spawned in, it's it's immediately like died somewhere. It's not even gotten towards spawn and it's died. So I'm praying that now that I have a crawler, just a crawler, and this thing left, I pray that we can get this step done. Otherwise, I'm gonna lose my my mind. Like if you are here and you use that thing to try and get away from it quickly, the rush of water from that kills it. It's it's barbaric. I'm one of the most frustrating steps I've done in a long time in zombies. I hope you can tell from my reaction. But anyway, this looks like a pretty good scenario here. We've got this. We've got the crawler behind it, which is pretty darn slow. As long as we keep both in our vision, the crawler shouldn't despawn. So we should be good. So one, two, three, four. Okay, now we wait. Even if the crawler dies, I don't think I'll care that much because at least we have this on the end of a round, round 25. I don't want to jinx it, but this is looking pretty good so far. Pretty good indeed. There's a second one done. Of BO1, you could have a crawler, you could run around the mat and it wouldn't despawn. But with this, the moment I like almost look away, that crawler is going to despawn. But I don't think it'll matter about now. I had an attempt where... The zombie had done the last two, and it was just on this one. I threw a monkey bomb here, and it did not go here. Instead, it just died, which makes no sense. Okay, but that is all done. All three have been lit on fire. So now we go back and pull this, and there we go. Step completed. Oh, hallelujah for that. So in the storyline, they were about to die. Like, the walls were closing on them. They were about to fall into a pit of lava. Now they are saved. They are free. Now, I don't know how feasible it will be to do this next step on a full round of zombies, but we'll give it a go. We need to go down into this tunnel here where there's going to be four holes which we need to, well, four blue crystals that we need to plug and zombies need to go and blow it up. The only problem is I need a max ammo to do the to do the next set of four. So this is uh, awkward. I can't get the monkeys to drop one. I need to get raindrops. I really, really need raindrops before this eclipse ends. Oh, wait, no. All the round just switches. There we go. Have I got enough time? So there's one there and then one here. Oh, that, that's already plugged, I'm pretty sure. Ah, oh, shoot. So apparently there's one plug that isn't lit up with a blue light and I've missed it. Okay, ended that round. Okay, come on, come on. I believe it is this bottom one here right by the edge here. There we go. We've done it. Okay, so there should be a button that we can press. There we go. Don't hold square. How often do you ever see that in zombies nowadays? Don't hold square for an Easter egg step. All right, but there we go. That's done. Next step. And this has been one of the most chaotic solo games I've had in recent memory on this map. This map is really, really difficult, which is probably why so many people dislike it so much. But around the map now, there are 12 panels that have spawned and you need to just knife every single one. At least we've got one zombie left, so this shouldn't be too difficult. Another one there. There. Got another one in there leading to the cart track. Got one here. Also got one right there. One boom right in right. front of us. So one here by this gong. Right now, apparently we've got to go down towards the power switch area. There's going to be one there. I can remember most of these off the hop, but not all of them. Like there is a lot. So left of power switch. Yep. Got one here near power. One here. And there's one more, which is going to be in the mud maze. Yep. There we go. We can see it. Please, can this be the last one? Please, have I not missed any? 
I think that's the last one. Oh, let's go. I'm low-key a little worried about this next step because you have to go over here and out the map. There's this thing. We've got to destroy it with an explosive. I'm going to chuck a monkey. Oh, that's not going to work. Okay, Widow's Wine. Is that going to work? Awesome. Oh, thank God that worked. Imagine if that didn't. What a troll by Treyarch. Any issue with doing these, these oh, Easter egg steps at the many, rounds that we've managed to get to is Juice it time. is hard. You got to get through the entire round and then hope that you don't get a noob or something to end the round by accident. But if I had the Mark II or something, this would have been so easy. And we, we did have it, but, you know, we lost it a long time ago. It's like my sanity hey guys, trying to do that fire ride. step. Jesus. Okay, so we're finally moving on to the next segment. It doesn't look like it's been difficult, but bruh, I've gone down eight times. And doing this these steps, this are in the egg at such a high round is very challenging but this next one is we've got to activate the eclipse make our way into the mud temple and there is uh some puzzles that we got to do and it's hard to do them when it's not giving us the ones that i need this one's got to be three dots this one here's got to be four dots trying to do this when bro this is why this step's a joke oh my god and now the zombies ran away and we failed the step. I hate this step so much, dude. Why? Here's my plan. I'm gonna do this. And I'm gonna go into here. And I'm gonna get blocked from doing this again. This is the three dots. If the, if the zombie gets in my way, I'm just gonna shrink it. There we go. Okay, the four dots, and now the zombie's dead, which is great. Okay, we need the single dot here. I'm gonna chuck a monkey. And we need this. There we go. We got it. We got it. We got it. We got it. But I am literally going to go down. I've somehow managed to semi-recover. I don't have all my perks still, but we're in a better position. <laughs> Ten downs now. Before we can even do the next step, there is a radio here that you have to activate. As it explains what the next step is. We are so close to the end of this Easter egg as well. We're only a few steps away now. Okay, somehow I'm at the end of the round. I'm still alive. Thank God. So activate the Eclipse and there's going to be gongs that we need to knife around the map. There's a bunch of crystals here and we need to just knife gongs. We've got four that we need to hit. So we hit this and if they glow red, that means it's the wrong gong. I think that might have been the right one. Okay, so we've got Minecraft, minecart entrance. Okay, so it's not that one. The one in spawn. Nope. Two hours later. I think that was a bit of a visual bug, but anyway, let's knife that one. Resonating or something. That one. That one. And this one. Okay, zombie should be trapped, so let's shoot it. And then we've got to be ready to pick up the dynamite. There we go. Let's go. Yeah, that's a bit tricky, you know. And now... We need to go to Pack-A-Punch. So now we're finally out of Eclipse mode again. I have... I don't have the dynamite anymore. What the hell? So let's go back into Eclipse mode. Okay, well, now they're all glowing. Okay, so now we've got the dynamite again. Is this going to be enough now? Is this step going to work, please? Hey, there we go. Hell, that Meteor cool. as drunk. It was a little glitchy, but we got it. So now we just got to get Pack-A-Punch open. And then we are done. So let's step on it. Literally go up to pack a punch and the machine should no longer be there. And instead, we will get to place the dynamite and we get a dynamite cool conversation. There. Well, unless you drop some, I think we're not getting any purpose. I had them in my bag and dropped it when we were attacked by the horde of zombies. Hey, pyro putzes. I might be able to help you with that. Okay. Okay, let's also make sure we don't die. I've passed them the dynamite. So now we're going to get flung away. They're like, stay back, guys, stay back. And whilst it looks like nothing's happened, you can see that it has opened and we have the focusing stone there. Let's stand on this again so we can access Pack-A-Punch. And here we go, guys. Been waiting a long time for this. I have not done this Easter egg in years, especially when it comes to cold, let alone in a solo mod. Never solo, but here we go. There it is. Let's go ahead, pick it up. Got the meteor. And there we go. Check it out. But look at that as well. The fact that it says Rick Toffin. Like when we know with the storyline of what we know now is like many, many years ago in the storyline, Rick Toffin was teleported here. And they, the people here loved him so much that they made a shrine for him. And if you've ever watched classic 
zombies when the community was solving stuff back in the day. Nick that gaming show with the classic, oh my God, it's a Richtofen shrine. I mean, it was pretty cool, right? We went from Ascension, which was a pretty mediocre Easter egg to this, which was as hardcore as Easter eggs get really, really complex, to be honest. And what's so cool as well is that if you're playing co-op and you want to do the Easter egg again, you activate this radio, and it begins all over again. The same step. Now, name me another Easter egg in Zombies history, which once you're done, you can just repeat it again in the same game. I don't think they've ever done it before. As originally, only the person that was ripped off in playing That's the game could get time. that and get a Perkaholic. But if everyone wants a Perkaholic, then you've got to do the Easter egg all the time. There we go, guys. I can't believe we've actually completed Shangri-La. Very, very uh, traumatic with 11 downs. But let's go on to the next map. Ladies and gentlemen, here we are with the map that started it all. Ascension with the very first Easter egg quest ever inside of Call of Duty Zombies. Absolutely amazing. Been really looking forward to playing this map again, seeing what it has to offer. And look at that for the first gobble gum. We need to get a specific amount of wonder weapons all this easter egg quest so we are wasting no time at all in popping these simulations and getting this going we need a ray gun we need a thunder gun and we need gersh devices if we can get all of that then we are absolutely rocking and rolling and i almost saw matryoshka dolls there we don't need those but this map is just so nostalgic the first black ops dlc map the first one of its kind where the map is black and white before you put the power on. It's just, there's just so many good parts of this map. I actually have very fond memories hunting this Easter egg back when this came out. And this map is over 11 years old. Let me know in the comments if any of you were around during Black Ops 1. There we go, there we go, we got it. When this map first came out as a DLC map, have you been playing that long? Let me know. Okay, so we're one third of the way through. We just need to get a wonder weapon. If you've never done the Easter egg on this map or even played this map, you'll see that they didn't design this Easter egg particularly well. But okay, no luck. We just keep it rolling. Okay, raindrops. All right. Well, let's give ourselves uh, another fire cell. Why the heck not, right? This is without doubt the worst part about this Easter egg. It's just RNG to get you the mystery box. Okay, well, we've got two free perks, which is uh, Widows and Jug, which is awesome. But we do risk going into a monkey round where they can nab it. But we do need the power on for that to happen. We'll just keep this RNG first going. There we go! <laughs> Under gun. All right. Now we just need the ray gun. Okay, so now we've got the perkaholic. It's not really what I wanted. I wanted to get shopping free, but it's fine. Before we even turn the power on, let's start the first step of this Easter egg. If we make our way over to here, out of the map, you see this little generator? It looks, you know, just like a weird object out the map. You've got to throw Gersh and the Gersh gets, it sucks the whole thing into a Gersh. Like, look how big that object is. Back in the day, that was not obvious at all. But looking at that now, it is huge. I think this Easter egg is so, so good, man. We're helping out Yuri, releasing from the Casimir mechanism. If we make our way over to here, this is the Casimir mechanism. And I'm right, I'm saying, is it this TV we've got to activate? Yep, there we go with the Illuminati triangle. As you see, we've got node one activated. This is at a time where Treyarch had never, ever done an Easter egg quest before. And to be fair, with the characters interacting with Yuri as well, like, it's pretty awesome. So for the next step of this Easter egg, we just need to turn on the power. We just need the power on. We need to go around or two because then the monkeys are going to spawn in. <laughs> and I love just turning on the power and just that burst of color. It is just insane. I mean, just some of the detail, like the rocket as well. The fact that we launched the rocket, you can blow it up with a ray gun. It is just in just insane all right and the rounds so there's a few more areas of the map we got to open up and then we should be good to go and we should get our shopping free here yep there we go I'm trying to think of how many easter eggs in zombies require a certain weapon from the box and just requires a load of rng shangri-la you need it moon you need it you can see a pattern here with black ops one easter egg but we just need the ray gun it's, it's insane how much rng you need for this easter egg it's one thing with every player in your game having one of these things but a solo player needing all of them <gasps> oh let's go all all right, we are ready to rock and roll, ladies and gentlemen. I just got to pray that we don't lose mule kick. Otherwise, this is going to be awkward. And here they are. Where are the monkeys at? Where are they coming in from? Look, there's, there it is. Off they go. So some buttons should spawn. They got one there. In co-op, normally there's four buttons that appear and you have to all press them at the same time. But for this solo, I think I press one button and I've got to run around and find the other button. Uh-oh, they're actually taking mule kick. What the hell? 
Oh my god. Are you kidding me, dude? No freaking way. I've just lost mule kick. Oh, lads, that is not good. I literally said it and it happened, right? I literally said it and it happened. There's normally more buttons spawning in. I don't know if we've actually just done the step. Okay, so we've done the step. We've got the two lights on, but in the process, we lost our ray gun. And this is why I hate mule. I just hate mule kick. You could feel the pain that I, I feel right now. This is just straight up a joke, ladies and gentlemen. It is a joke. I went through pain suffering and so many points to try and get this stupid ray gun but we're gonna get it back we're gonna get it back oh my god what second hit we got it back <laughs> oh samantha's watching us from above i'll tell you now okay this next step is in incredibly weird we need to stand in a spot and not move for two whole minutes i've just realized before i even start this next step i need to do all three landers so we can get pack a punch derp okay but now we get to do one of my favorite parts about this map is activating the launch sequence launching the rocket and if you have a ray gun you can do something very very cool if you've got a ray gun or an explosive weapon blow up the rocket oh my god look how cool that looks dude <laughs> honestly such a cool easter egg so so cool this is how incredible easter egg steps were back in the day right so for this step we need to stand on this circular bit here and not move for two minutes that's it back in the day you just like sat here stared at this clock and you waited for a whole two minutes so i'll see you in two minutes and there we go it is done the clock has disappeared and it rudely wipes all the zombies on the map. And now, now we've done that, we need to go to the end of the round. And then we're going to be saving some crawlers. And we're going to be finding some letters in the sky. Now, in co-op, this was a really cool little step. We had to call the lander from certain locations while someone was on it to collect these letters. But because we're doing it a solo mod, it should be a little bit different. Okay, so we've got a few slow zombies left on the round. We are going to start this up. And uh, yeah, normally you've got to stand on the lander while someone calls it. But since we can't do that, solo guide says you just call the lander to where it needs to be and it should collect the letters. So the first location is we're calling it from spawn over towards here. As you can see, we've got the three lights. We're just missing that last one now. So let's call the lander to this position. And you can see the L in the sky there. Is it going to collect it? Oh, yeah, it did. There we go. We got it. So now we've got to go back to spawn and it should collect a U floating in the sky. We can't tell if it got it or not, but I'm assuming it has. Now we're here by speed cola and the sickle. We've got to call it over here and it should there should be a letter somewhere in the sky. I have no idea where, but it should have got it. And now from here, we call it to stamina. Okay, here we go. Calling it again. And there, you can see the A there. That is actually pretty, a lot closer to the ground than I expected. But yeah, that means we successfully got them all. And you hear that sound. Node 4 is active. He's asking us to open a portal. And there we go. There's the orb. There it is. So for that final step, this is why we needed the ray gun and the thunder gun. But... We need them upgraded. Here's the orb. So for the final, final step, we're going to throw a Gersh device. Chuck it down. Swap to use cannon. Shoot about four shots. And then from there, shoot with the ray gun. Is it enough? I don't think it was enough. Oh my God. And we got the monkeys coming in now. Okay, so we got a, we got a uh, raindrop. So I think what I did wrong is I wasn't shooting at the actual orb itself. So one two three four then ray gun come on no still not what does this want from me okay so let's try this again i'm really not confident that we can actually do this on solo with this mod it's like oh it just seems impossible to put enough damage in so the step you just saw me try to do on co-op you need like someone with a thunder gun someone with the ray gun the gersh device with troishka dolls it's pretty intense so i'm not sure if it's the solo mod is not working properly or i need to get like the mark ii or something instead so that's what we're going to try and do i've put the ray gun back i'm trying to get the mark ii and then we'll see if that's going to do the trick oh my god Look at what round I'm on. Round 22. I've had an absolute nightmare, lads. I accidentally swapped the Gershers out for Matryoshkas. And I've just been in an absolute state. It's only taken me 40 minutes since we tried the first time to get what we have now in the game, which is a joke. Please, I'm trying this one more time. And if this does not work, then I think this is, this is just doomed, ladies and gentlemen. It is doomed. Like, what? 
How does this not work? One more time. One more time. Okay. One, two, three, four. And then let's swap back. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh, oh, oh my God. We've done it. We've done it. We've done it. We've done it. Oh my God. Oh my God. We actually done it. So the reward we get is a 90 second death machine and all perks. And as you saw, as we had to run away there, his soul goes up into the sky and you hear this like incredible shriek. There it is. <laughs> there he is being let back into the ether. And this is the reward, a 90 second death machine. But there we go. Ascension Easter egg done. Thank you so much for watching this video. So I really hope you guys enjoyed it.